first year of university was really quite a roller coaster, full of personal and academic challenges, but also major breakthroughs and revelations. And so here, now, at the end of it all, I'm ready to reflect on it. The lessons I learned, the things I would do differently, everything I couldn't have ever predicted. I just want to say, I think I came to uni in quite a rocky place, so my experience is by no means representative of everyone's. But I definitely think that there are some universal aspects here that many people will be able to relate to in one way or another. So hopefully, instead of scaring people about going to uni, this can instead reassure people that whatever they're feeling is completely normal. I know one of the most validating things that I found was talking to people and sharing experiences and realizing that everyone's going through the same thing and it kind of made me feel less alone in what I was feeling, so hopefully this can serve the same purpose. So yeah, as I mentioned when I started uni, things in my personal life were a little bit rough at the time and I kind of got there with all of these expectations of what it was going to be like and how things were going to go when I arrived and I definitely think that this was one of my biggest mistakes. I really wish I had arrived with more of an open mind because I think it would have made the transition a lot smoother. Instead, I had all of these fixed, predetermined expectations of what it would be like, and so anytime something didn't immediately fit those expectations, it was quite a big blow. So much happened that I could have never accounted for or predicted beforehand. Having already had a rocky few weeks and months before moving away, unpredictability was really the last thing I wanted. It was definitely difficult, especially considering this was something I'd been thinking about for so long. Like, at that time it had been over a year since I started the application process and I'd had so much time to come up with all these ideas about what I thought it would be like. But I think the best thing is to just approach it with an open mind and to be willing to accept when things aren't living up to your expectations and to just be okay with that. I arrived at uni thinking I was going to become really close with the people that I was living with and that these people were going to be my new closest friends. But it became very obvious very quickly that we were just not the same people. We got on on like a small talk kind of level, but nothing really beyond that. At first I was a little freaked out because I hadn't considered that it would be this way between me and my flatmates when everyone else I knew was really close to their flatmates so it made me feel like I was doing something wrong. Obviously I wasn't doing anything wrong, it was just that other people had got luckier in the lottery that is living in university halls but it was still very unnerving to have my expectations dashed so quickly and to see everyone else living up to those expectations with absolutely no problem but it was just a matter of time because in my second semester I grew a lot closer to my course mates I went to more societies and I met so many new people the film society was a massive part of my first year and I ended up becoming really good friends with the committee which is something I would have never believed at the start of the year even at the start of second semester Sometimes things just take time. Probably one of the biggest and most reassuring lessons my first year has taught me is that everything falls into place with time, even if you can't immediately see how. By the time it got to the end of my first semester, I was really stressed out because I had no idea who I'd be living with next year. I had no plans for a house or for viewings or anything because I couldn't find people to live with. I think my breaking point was really when I managed to get written out of a plan that I had with the girls in my flat to live with them next year without me even knowing. Like it was really my joker moment they came into the kitchen talking about the viewings that they'd seen and like what they thought of the houses they'd just viewed and it was at that point I realized maybe I'm not going to be living with them anymore next year and actually that felt like a massive disappointment and I felt very stressed out about what I was going to do next year by the time Christmas came and I still didn't have a plan I was starting to get anxious but I couldn't have seen it then that within the first few weeks of my second semester I would by chance find myself in conversation with my course mates about the house that they were getting a house that they needed one more person for and just like that everything had fallen into place and everything was sorted also just a side note we were looking for a house in February and that's considered late but there was still plenty on the market. They may not have been the best, but really don't let the estate agent stress you out if you don't have a plan within your first month of being there. I think it's way more important to take a bit of time and find people you know you're actually gonna enjoy living with rather than just jumping in with people you barely know. But anyway. 
Something I think is important to realise quickly is that everybody else is winging it too, especially at the start. Everyone has just as little of a clue as you and everyone will be feeling a little bit out of their depth. The absolute worst thing you can do is start to compare yourself to other people and worry about your capability in relation to others, especially in an academic sense because the workload and the style of work is something that can take a bit of time to adjust to. But everybody is adjusting and this is a new experience for everyone so the most important thing is to go easy on yourself. There may even be a point where you feel like dropping out, especially if the transition to uni wasn't as smooth as you were expecting, but I think the best thing you can do is just let yourself go through those motions before you decide what's best for you. I definitely hit that point in the middle of my first semester, so I gave myself a time period and I said if I'm still feeling this way by this time, then I will seriously consider this. But I think I knew I needed to give it a chance and this definitely wasn't a decision to be made quickly. Finally, the most important lesson and one I learnt the hard way. You will get ill a lot. You will get fresh as flu, even if you think you won't. By the end of the week, when my whole flat had had it and I was still well, I thought that I'd avoided it, but I just ended up getting it the following week, which was the first week of my lectures, so yeah, just really not fun. I got ill so many other times during my first year as well. I had a sinus infection twice after never having had one before I came to uni. I got COVID. I spent a lot of time in bed this year just feeling sorry for myself and having spent all my money on medicine. So the best advice I can give you is make sure you're stocked for medicines, flu tablets, painkillers, all of it because everywhere will sell out during freshers and that is absolutely the last thing you want. My first year at uni was something that completely subverted every expectation I had. I learned a lot about myself, about my resilience, about my ambition, but also about my limits and my boundaries. It was definitely a rocky start, much more unsteady than I expected, but I have no doubt it will only go up from here. This year was about building a foundation and finding my feet, something that was by no means achieved in the first few weeks or months, but something that I constantly worked on throughout the whole year. There were definitely obstacles to that, but in overcoming those I only proved to myself how capable and resilient I am. And that can only benefit me in the years I have left at university. Year one of four, Three more to go.